Everybody loves a parade, and this one could take the lead. Hi everybody, and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew, and on the bench today is a Hot Wheels Rigger Motor. It's a fantasy casting, and I don't often work with those, but this project is for a theme build, and it's the wheels especially that caught my attention. That's why I grabbed this one. They're going to be perfect for what I have in mind. It's got a blown engine and some exaggerated exhaust tips and a little cockpit way in the back. Those graphics are going to fit in perfectly too. Lots of skulls on black and white. This is my entry for the February Four Horsemen Invitational on the theme of Mardi Gras. This month we welcome Jim Silva as our guest horseman and I'm reminding you, we want you to participate, and if you do, please be sure to send us a high-quality glamour pic at that email address on a plain white background, and we'll include your work in a recap video. As I take this one apart, you can see an interesting casting. Definitely not the norm. Quite thin and elongated. Notice at the very front, some kind of a bird, I'm guessing that's a raven or some omen of evil. There's the one-piece bubble cockpit class, that's in perfect shape. And this is an all-in-one engine, chassis, and singular seat. There's a bone shaker skull right on the front there. And it's a plastic base. Uh, once again, I love these wheels, so I'm going to carefully take them off and preserve them. Pretty easy to misplace all these little pieces over the week that this spends on the bench. And I got a backup too, just in case of disaster, which is not uncommon here at Maple Leaf Customs. According to Hot Wheels Wiki, the Rigger Motor was originally packaged as part of the Freight Cars series of Walmart exclusive cars on single cards in 2006. In 2007, Target had their own exclusive five-pack set to add to the series, also known as the Freight Cars five-pack, and the Target exclusive gift pack was called Scary Cars in 2008. Mardi Gras is known by many names around the world. In Brazil, it's Carnival. And here in Switzerland, it's called Faschnacht. The Basel Faschnacht dates back to 1376, making it 648 years old this February. They're all connected with the Easter dates, which can fluctuate annually. Honestly, I wrestled with how I would work a Mardi Gras theme into a custom die-cast project. I ended up deciding on this Venetian plague mask that I found on Thingiverse and I printed it out in several different sizes. It's as fragile as butterfly wings, so I had to very carefully cut the supports away. And this is what I've got. That's going to be front and center on my casting and maybe even in the pole position in a Mardi Gras parade too. Immediately following this Mardi Gras project, I'm going to be posting part two of the super huge ginormous build-off. There's a super fast whoosh and push coming up, and it's nearly time for this year's Porsche build-off. It's number four. I hope you'll be joining in. 
The March theme for the Four Horsemen is St. Patrick's Day, and I'd like to see our participatory numbers grow each month this year. Mardi Gras is a colorful event wherever it happens, but did you know the colors have significance? Someone decided way back when, green represents faith, gold is power, and purple is justice. Sticking with that, I painted a little bit of justice on the beak of this plague mask, and the feathers are going to be alternating power, and faith. I lost a couple of 3D printed beads on the end of these feathers during the snipping off process, so I went with a Vauxhall a dollar store beads alternating white on the green and black ones on the yellow feathers. Looking good. Today's community shout out goes to a YouTube site called McNasty's Place. He's all about mini GTs, Hot Wheels, and all that good stuff as he writes himself. So please make yourself known by dropping by for a visit. The link is in the description. Thank you. Having finished with the mask now, and mounting it will be the final step, I can turn my attention to the chassis. After stripping and priming, I painted it black, and then I distressed the edges, a look that I like. You can see I clipped a few feathers off of the bird up front. When you compare the two, that's where the mask is going to be seated. I did a couple of dry fits just to make sure it was right. Now I'm going to take the plastic chassis and apply some Molotow liquid chrome to the flared out exhaust pipes. I use a refill bottle and a fine paintbrush to do this. I've had the pens give me lava-like explosions too many times. And a little bit of detail of the exhaust on the undercarriage. All of my homemade decals will be monochromatic for this build on the skull theme. And remember that original that I took off with paint stripping? I took a picture from my spare rigger motor, made it into a decal, put it back on in the center. But these side skulls are my own design. They're identical left and right. If you got your specs on and get up real close and personal, you'll see this is the Four Horsemen Mardi Gras, where it used to say Hot Wheels Art Cars. A personal touch. I took a plastic key off a discarded keyboard that was already black, and I put a Joker skull on that one. It's going to go as a sort of a back valance or canopy over top of the cockpit. And that's what you'll see if you're next in line in the parade. And I decided to call an audible at the line of scrimmage and change the chrome exhaust pipes to the faith and power colors to brighten things up and in keeping with the Mardi Gras theme. Right. Everything's been clear-coated and left to set up overnight. You can see the main body with the distressed edges. Kind of looks like a coffin now. Did not touch the glass cockpit or the chrome interior. Original wheels back on the plastic base. Those were keepers. The main attraction is the Venetian plague mask right up front and the Joker skull in the back. Those will go on very last. Pretty easy to pop everything back together. I did do lots of dry fits along the way to ensure there'd be no trouble right here. That's basically how I found the rigger motor, with a few cosmetic changes.
Everything checks out, so now I can put the screws to it. I'll go to work on attaching the mask now. All finished. Let's have a closer look. And I handle this carefully because those feathers are still very delicate. But there it is prominently displayed right up front. But you can still see the engine and all of the skull decals on the top, the sides, and in the back. Love those wheels, right in keeping with the theme. And the green and gold on the exhaust as well, complements the whole Mardi Gras theme. And it moves down the parade route just fine. I don't know when I'll next take on another fantasy casting, but the rigor motor sure fit the bill for this Mardi Gras project. I brightened it up the Venetian plague mask up front, a couple of personal touches on the decals and the inscription on the side, and I invite you to leave a respectful comment below and tell me what you think of this build, or if you have a great Mardi Gras or Carnival story to share with us. Thanks again to Jim Silva for being our guest horseman this month. Be sure to check out all of the other builds. Just do a search for hashtag 4HorsemanDieCast. Thanks for visiting my channel today. It's coffee time.